time change. Well, hi, everybody. Here we are at Chess Stars Contest Weekend. We have a fantastic match for you today. We have Grandmaster Vladimir Belus from the Russian Federation versus the very strong international master Orkan Abdullah from Azerbaijan. Uh, we need to make an announcement that the uh, time zone changes tomorrow from Daylight Saving Time to Eastern Standard Time. So tomorrow's events will be one hour later by European clocks. And we're here for you to announce today, we have just uh, Star's president, Sasha Star. We have an Espanol, Victor Mago, and we have correspondence Master Michael Hoffer. Welcome. Thank you very much, Marty. We have a very exciting uh, uh, contest indeed today. And uh, it's about to start any time. Uh, Michael, what do you think about today's game? Belus has had a lot of luck with Knight F3 and recently won a collegiate championship with it. But when he did that against Orkin last time, Orkin played F5. So I think uh, Belus might play D4 today. Spring forward, fall back. Okay. <laughs> and Knight Ooh. F3. Oh, my God, now I guessed it. How can she do it? Oh, that's 660 bad. crowns. Wow. I that's should have trusted what happened last time. It was F5 last time. Uh, will he do it again? See, when I went to yeah, Armageddon the last time, Belus played D4. Now, in the last match, Orkin won the first game with F5 here. And then he uh, choked on the second day. And then they went to Armageddon, and Belus won. Yeah, Why is Orkin it thinking? Very interesting. It was a very interesting contest. Victor, yeah. what do you I can hear you. Ah. Okay. You know what? It's going to be C4 or E4. And I'm going to go with E4, but he's probably going to play C4. But I'm going with E4. Because I want the crown. Que estamos entre sorpresa y sorpresa. Vamos a ver con qué contesta aquí el maestro Veloz en este tipo de casos. Eh, F3, eh, C5. Veloz plays everything, so he might play E4. Yes, a good chance E4. And also, uh, if you're yeah. assistant. No. Entre C4. Wow. Claro, aquí está llamada. Uh, I don't think this is what Orkin wanted. The more I look at this, it was a, this is probably a good choice by Belus. No. I guess Orkin will play knight f6. No, knight c6. Eh, whatever. Really? Really? Pega, pega, pega. Yeah, he'll go knife six. Okay. A lot of box dodging and weaving here. Okay, now I do know that uh, Belus likes the Fianchetto, so G3 almost for sure. Yo sigo pensando que va a ser G3. Uf, no. G3. But no. Oof, Oof, is right. Brilliant. Brilliant. E6 is the main line, but Orkin will play G6, and I put all the five crowns on that. Yay. Yeah, look at it. Swams and Nainad got the cash in with the cash A. Hey, hey, what's going on? D4 or G3? Beats me. Uh, after E3, D4 looks quite consistent. Yeah. Normal, normal. Well, I thought too, but I didn't put anything in. Okay, well, after G6... Oh, uh, wait a minute. Does he have to take that, Sasha? Yeah, he does. He doesn't have to, but I think that that's the best move. To take the pawn and then D5. Más seguro que coma con, con caballo, porque este, comer con peón es una posibilidad, pero entonces le hacen de 5 y crean la posición de peón aislado, ¿no? Simplemente después allí a fin de 7 y están en una posición donde van a luchar ahí contra el peón. Creo que ahora de 5 va a ser una jugada muy clara. No, no tiene otra, otro sentido en jugar de otra forma. 
a... So this is like a uh, Grunfeld almost. It's a Grunfeld. Yeah, it, will, it will become a Grunfeld very soon. Oh, Karpov and Kasparov. Zillions of games. Yeah, it takes. Oh, yeah. Oh, the very excellent drawing chances for black. C5, no, no creo que se realice, es rara. Eh, peón por peón, no, Mike. Se entra en directamente, sí, entra en una grunfer ahí por transposición. Muy, muy claro, este, peón por peón y caballo por. Hey, I can put 100 crowns on this one. <laughs> Pero no es, no, es, no es exactamente una grunfer, porque no tienes el peón del centro, es decir. Es más una, 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 una especie ahí de... No sé, no, 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 no me agrada de todo esta, esta variante. Queen B3. B3. Sure, why not? Uf, la madre tres, muy bien. <laughs> That's a miracle. <laughs> miracle. Right. Bueno, vemos aquí a el amigo Ramón Chac, Ramón Sequera. Yeah, he's probably going to take on C3. Oh, he did play E6, and I got locked out at the window. Good thing. Sometimes it's good to be late. Oh, pin him and win him. Bishop B5, like a Rudy Lopez. And Sockfish is right. And Maria Chakran and Petar Robula. Jan Lin Chen and Jose Daniel Ruiz Perret. They all had that one. Yeah, well, Bishop B5 looks uh, quite interesting. Yeah. Bravo, Jan Lin. Fils cuatro, Jesús Díaz, muy bien. Muy bien. Jesús swims and Jan Lin again. Jan Lin is on fire. Call the fire department. Okay. Is well, knight a five possible? Yeah. Why not? No, he played knight uh, b six. And Maria Chcon, she's doing very well. Four hundred sixty-eight crowns and Jose Fabian Benito. 117 crowns. Congratulations to both winners. Now he's going to play Bishop B5, of course. What else? Okay, Jan Lin, you don't have to put all the letters in there. It's not necessary. Wait until you're winning the contest, if that ever happens. It happened with Roshan a couple of times. Bishop G7, finally. That's probably maybe a record for playing G6 and having to wait that long to play Bishop G7. <laughs> and he will hit the queen with bishop g5 and stockfish doesn't like it that's funny Bueno, Jesús Díaz en primer lugar, María Chacón, Narro Bull, Ramón Sequera, Nava Star. Oh, 360 Fico. crowns again, twice, and I'm still not on the board. Yep. I have to be on the board. I guess I'm not. Whatever. No, uh. Queen C7 or Queen G6? Me gusta Dama de 6. Queen C7. Dama de 6 a mí me gusta, Mike. Oh, yes, yeah. you're right. Finally on the board. Well, just to give me false hope. Well, maybe they'll castle. You never know. What else is there to do? Nothing. Yeah, I guess castle is natural move. Or what else? Uh, maybe rook g1 and then try b5, but it um, leads to simplifications. Hmm. Interesting position. Wow, I, I bet neither player thought that there was going to be a Grunfeld here today. Probably surprised the both of them. Yeah, somehow we it went into <laughs> Grunfeld. I don't think that anybody wanted it. Okay. okay. And I think that will do the same. Bueno, si pareciera que se va a enrocar, pero bueno, uno nunca sabe 
HC no parece del todo mala, F6, increíble que vaya a realizar una boda así, no creo. En roca, muy típica, muy bien. And now what? Now what is about to Rick's belong in open files. X-ray that queen. Rick AC1. Ahora se uno. Muy, muy clara, Mike. Yeah, Torre, Eugenio Torre, uh, se uno. But he went to de uno. Oh, no winners. No winners. Chicken dinner. Hmm. Wow. What is going on? Strong moment. Muy, muy extraño, muy extraño. Muy, muy extraño. De verdad que, que no tiene nada, na, nada de sentido. Esto. I don't think Orkin's going to play H6. Yeah, first in this night, A5. Why not? I went with Bishop D7. There's nothing wrong with Knight A5 either, but I think Orkin might just finish his development and wait to see what the strange move Belus has next since he played Rick D1. Yeah, Rick Caballo 5, muy bien. But Sasha was right. Oof. Bravo, Six Sasha. Winners. And the yeah. other five winners. Where does the queen go? I think it would be four. Okay. Well, I'm going to trust you on that. And, uh, oh, Nava has uh, got 978 crowns, Sasha. Yeah, that's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got that one at least. Nava, Nava didn't bet on that one. Whoa. No. So you made up some ground. Good. Looks like I think she's in a safety mode now. <laughs> yeah. Well, why not A6? A6, parece, pero no sé. ¿Qué te parece a ti? ¿Te parece esa por acá? Catula, va a perder un peón. Ah, no, no, así que va a perder un peón. Ahí, bueno, no sé. Pero aquí no. F6, F6 rara. No creo que la haga. A6, caballo C6, me parece más natural que caballo C6, más, más. Más humana que A6. Vamos a ver qué sucede. Bueno, bueno, vamos a revisar, Mac, vamos a revisar Jesús. Caballo C6, mucho más natural. Ok, Knight C6 was played. So now it's about time to take. Aquí no sé, de verdad que cambió. Yeah, why not? No vaya... Seriously. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't know why he did that. It's not very... Eh. I guess maybe it's okay. I don't know. Well, I mean, it's, it's not losing right away, but... Um, yeah. I think the bishop takes c6, right? As a uh, side block. Oof, damas c5! Nice. Wow. Okay, well now Bishop D7. Absolutely. Well, Orchid's fine now. Yeah. Damo C5, why? Sí, de verdad que... Don't understand. Muy lógica, muy lógica, pero bueno, el C6 decía que era la ventaja, ¿no? I don't understand that move. Which one? Queen C5. Queen C5, yeah, it's kind of a, it doesn't do really much. I think after bishop G7, black is fine. Yes. Well, he needs two moves, bishop G7 and rook uh, probably AC8. And I think black is fine. Well, one would think black wants to complete his development. <sighs> Connect the rooks. Yeah, and I don't think the board has any real threats here. Well. Yeah. Oh, we got an isolated I, pawn to pound away on for the rest of the game. It's going to be a long game. 
So do you think black may play bishop d7 or throw in h6 first? I'm just, I, I, I would play bishop d7 immediately. Mm -hmm. And Stockfish concurs. But By a wide margin. Bishop after bishop d7, do you think white can play bishop e7 and then bishop d6, something like this? Well, bishop d7, rook c8, and we can put a knight on d5 and a6. Yeah, you know, yeah. is fine, man. I don't think it's fucking good. This is why the rook belonged on c1 instead of d1. It's That's like what the we'll loose decided to go passive already. I thought, I thought that another rook should have come on d1, and in this rook, the queen should have been on c1, and that would be quite logical setup. But uh, the Grand Maestro obviously knows better. Yeah, yeah. Plus, he is a, from Russia. So, yes. of course, every also, Russian schoolboy knows how to play this. 225 crowns on that. I'm surprised. Wow. Well, so now he's going to play rookie one. Torre uno. Torre F1. Parece muy lógica, Mike. Yeah. Another thing is Bishop H4. Oh, now it's the first one. I don't Try understand to, that one. Maybe relocate bishop to g3 somehow or to attack uh, black queen. Torre e uno. Si, Victor. ¿Qué pasó? Cuéntame. Si, Torre uno. Yo realmente no tengo cron. Ya se me acabaron. Pero bueno, Torre uno es muy, muy lógico. De cinco se da mala, Mari. De cinco también parece interesante, deshaciéndose del peón, ¿no? Es interesante, sale del peón aislado que puede ser la molesto, ¿no? Y bueno, Jesús Mari, Jesús Díaz, María Chacón, Edgar Rivas, Montero, Squatia Mirra, Ramón Sequera, Navastar y Nena Robul son los primeros que tenemos aquí en la, en la tabla de los punteros del Conte, pensando profundamente el gran maestro Vitali Belus. De verdad que me gusta de 5, me gusta de 5 bastante, mal. That's very interesting juncture in the game. Either Bishop H4 or Rook F E1. Yeah, and this is a rather mundane position to be wasting like five minutes. It's not like there's some great tactic going on here that has to be analyzed. Well, white has to come with uh, some plan to create some threats. And I think that rookie one is fine. You finish your development, but I don't see any direct after this move. Right, well, I don't see a plan here at all for her. Um, well, I think that's why I like more. I, you see, I, I put some crowns on the rook uh, fe1, but the more I look at it, uh, I like uh, bishop h4 more. Really? Mm, yeah, well, because um, at least. You see, black wants to play. Oh, wow! No. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> surprise, surprise, surprise. Well, then. Indeed, it is a surprise. He wants to go to f6. Yeah, that's what I think. Um, but so, is he going to f6 with the bishop or the knight? Knight, I would think. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Or a rook. Or I can't speak English. Is it knight? Is it rook ac8 or knight d5? Or maybe even f6. Orkin isn't really a kind of guy that's going to block his feet and cut though with f6. But f6 is possible here. And he quickly played knight d5. Wow, so he's covering f6 that way. And I, I really should have put that in. How many crowns was that worth? Nine winners got 550. What? Really? Oh, he played it too fast. There wasn't enough in the pool. All right, then. 
end. Oh, that bishop has made 100 moves today. Kick the queen in the mouth. Bravo, Edgar Rivas. Now, B6. Bam! Like in Batman. Pow. Wow. Sure. Yeah, hit the queen. And uh, Stockfish thinks black's better. I think black's better. And he'll play queen D6 and the queens come off. Ah, wait a minute. He might not play B6 then. Yeah. What else is there? Well, there's still Rook C8. Hmm. I'm you sorry, I wasted 100 crowns on B6. No, I can just use the no? Well, I'm glad, no? I wouldn't want to trade Queens and Black right now. I like B6. On the other hand, wait a minute. Yeah, we got that isolated pawn to pound away on, so I guess trading queens isn't so bad. Yeah, why would you have to yeah. It's like the Joko piano with the queen b6 lines. That's a short and carp off. Mm hmm. Yes, good analogy. B6, B6, I think it's very difficult to say. I think it's more adequate than any Okay, we've all agreed on B6 now, except Orkin. <laughs> wow. And this is how Orkin... Orkin is a really good player, but he has used terrible time management when he's playing Grandmasters. <sighs> on Chess Stars. He's beaten quite a few Grandmasters, too. But he's had some killer positions where he just let the time get away. It seems to me that the Orkan has certain preference for certain positions, and those positions he plays really well. Yeah. Goes into other positions he can do so well. Well, so far he's okay with the time. He can take some time to think. Now well, I guess it's a good sign somebody's trying to come up with a plan. At least someone's trying to come up with a plan. There is another thing now. Queen b6. Now, what that does? No, b6 is... Essentially, it's the same idea of trading queens. And that is more Joko Piano-like. Hmm. This is better than the Joko Piano one, though, because we got the uh, Fianchetto Bishop pounding away on the D4 pawn. In that position, I could give the pawn to... He could eat it to comer on D5, no? Haciendo, for example, Torre C8, no? No pasa nada, no? Because the Alfil could then get to C and could recover in A2 if it was necessary, no? Does everyone oh, remember... Ahí. Does everyone remember Larry Kaufman? He, uh, one of the greatest computer guys of all time. He created Komodo. And um, he won the World Senior Championship, which made him a grandmaster. And he wrote a book in which he used Komodo to define all the openings. And he said that the, this, the, these Grunfeld positions are great for white. And the Joko Piano position with the isolated pawn is great for white because of the files you can use for your rooks. Well, Belus hasn't used any files for his rooks here. Ah, la mano tres parece bastante, bastante clara. Ah, I picked the wrong one. Why did I do that? I, I don't know why I, my, my hand picked queen d6, but I'm looking at queen a3. Yeah, this guy shouldn't want to trade queens. Queen a3 is what he's probably going to do. What do you think, Sasha? I think after exchange of queens, black has no problems whatsoever. Yeah. Yep. I, I just totally wasted crowns. Yeah. Ooh, 95 again? Really? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, boy. It's the winner! Oh, boy. I don't like blocking the fee and cut it like that. 
Now, H4 is interessante. <laughs> and I, since I screwed up, I'm going to try to make up for it. And I didn't, I did it too late. Too late, oh, Mike. Dr. Buller and Marian Todoraccio, look at that. Each one 500 crowns. I was entering I was that. I was entering that. But I was talking. Oh, jeez. Which way is Orkin going? Orkin's going to go backwards. Oh, good. He went forward. And I got locked out again. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bravo, Maria. And uh, Nate. Nate, mate, you're back. Now, this guy has not wanted to give up the bishop for the night yet, so he probably won't do it now. But he did. Yes, he did. Uh, now, he takes d5 is obviously good. Okay. And now we got symmetrical pawns. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Really, Orkin? Really? Orkin had a lovely position, and now he's got a pawn in front of his fianchetto and symmetrical pawns when he was banging away an isolated pawn. What do I know, though? Well, now Bishop G3 is expected. Oh, my God. This is like, like why did he screw this up? Oh, jeez. Oh, well. I think knight a5 probably was not the best. I like more knight c to e7 to reinforce. Yeah. It's not d5. Yeah, agreed. Oh, jeez. No. Just to get his queen safe. Dark oh, what? No good square to go to. Yeah. No. No. Nah. <laughs> Okay, I'm taking a risk again. I'm mad at myself. I went with Queen C2 just for the crown overlay. They'll probably play Queen C6. Queen D8 is goofy. Stockfish. I'm not going to play Queen D8. I like Queen C6 because uh, once knight goes away, you, you have resource. Yeah. Uh, and Queen A4, maybe something. But all our exchange doesn't look so good as before. Actually, Queen C2 is reasonable too. Yeah, that to protect the enemy. Yeah, he should have played knight e7 instead of knight a5. He should have kept those pawns straight. Oh. Well, the position still is about equal, but white doesn't have anything really to like home about. No, and black actually could have been playing for a win instead of this so symmetry. Well, now what? Knight d2 or knight d6? I don't know, 96, 90, looks a little bit shaky there. Yeah, I agree with you. It's it's a little scary looking. And he went for oh, it right oh, away. Oh. No problem. And Maria Chakron is in the lead. Bravo. Wow. Well, looks like 94 is a reasonable move here. Yeah, yeah, like almost box, but no, Orkin doesn't oh. play the box move. He likes the knight under. And Dusan and Jose Vasquez, two winners. What a weird move. F to D eight. Yeah, Bravo okay. Dushan. I don't know how you figured that one. What? Are you... Oh yeah, knight D two to stop knight C four now maybe. Yeah, but what's happened to the knight on d6? What's going to retreat? Huh? <laughs> I have a strange feel that, <laughs> that after bishop f8, we have some problems. Oh, now he wants to play rook c1. Let's see. So now knight c4 probably is fine. Ten moves too late with rook c1. 
Well, knight c4, yep. For sure. Yeah. And now, it, there's his chance to get asylum. Or, will he play queen? I think he's going to go for asylum at c4. Like Victor Kirchner. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> After knight c4, black is uh, better. Yeah. Well, white, well, white has really not played well today for uh, a grandmaster. Uh, yeah, yeah, some kind of a, some. All the transpositions to... seem to have favored black on all the surprise uh, moves today. Black, black is going to win, I think, sooner or later. I see white's position. I can't find the plan except <laughs> except trying to save the knight on these six. Yeah, so, it, it really is like he never had one. Unusual. Novice yeah. star still on the board. Oh, he's just still there. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm far behind. <laughs> I, you know what, I guessed a lot of moves right, but I think uh, I played uh, on 25 crowns on those moves. Oh. Right. Maria Chacon is doing brilliant, look at that. Well, 688 Is she going to take that B pawn? Why not? Am I blind? Is there a trap? It's a trap! No, take the B pawn. Absolutely. You gotta be kidding me! Ugh. So do you think you overlooked that? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Just like that. Oh my god. Yeah, he did overlook it because he thought he had the knight pinned. And now Orca will take ten minutes to verify that there's no trap. Come on, Orca, take the pawn. Somebody's microphone is loose. Creating a buzz. So you're going to take it. <clears throat> somebody fix your microphone, please. Am I okay? So, somebody's cord just came out. or halfway out. Wow. I don't know what happened. Sounds like. Anyway, some kind of big noise hum just came on the line. Yeah, it sounds like an airplane. Yeah. Somebody did something. Something changed somewhere. Sasha, check your stuff. Oh, okay, there it is. No, yeah, well, no. Somebody, something changed. Somebody's electronics configuration has changed, creating noise. I don't know who's that. I can't undo something I didn't see. <laughs> okay. I haven't touched anything. Well, he's still thinking. Come on. I'm surprised Stockfish doesn't rate that higher. Okay, I took Mongo out of the circuit, and now the noise is gone. I'm not sure what was up. He's gone now, though, along with the noise. Oh, did you kill him? I took him out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Try again. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. Well, then. What is Orkin thinking about? Don't be chicken, Orkin. This is not the time to be afraid. Hello? Uh, your, your, your system is noisy since the last few minutes. Can you check the cords? Make sure all the cords are firm. Make sure all the cord. Make sure your microphone is plugged in all the way. Something's gone wrong. Muy bien, muy bien. Caballo por vedo. I'm going to Creta un nivel de ventaja bueno ya. Vamos a ver qué tal que pasa. Now, if he missed this move, he might be panicking now and play queen b3 instead of queen e2. But he's got to go queen e2. He's got to try to get some some compensation for this. Queen e2 is very little compensation. No sé, no te estoy seguro. Yo creo que ya más o menos ahí hay un... Está controlado todo ahí. Tiene una buena posición el negro. No creo que 
que sufra mucho ya ahí. Salió. Maria Chacon, 27-53, a 700 crown lead over Jesus Diaz. Nena Grabula, Edgar Ribas, Dushan, Milojevic, Montero, Marion Tudorash, and Nava Star. The great Nava Star. What, what, Nava is, what Nava is trying to do? She's just trying to beat me. That's all. She doesn't care about winning this. Oh, okay. dude, that's what's always attracted you to her. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Y bueno, aquí no sé si va a capturar. Mm. Que podría realizar la jugada que va a haber dos esta que está interesante. Mm. Pero de verdad creo mm. que. He's not gonna play Queen. He's 92 is box, I think. Ya. Yeah. Oh, he did go Queen E7. I was tempted to do that. I was tempted. But Rafael wow. and Prascar had the had the had the cojones to do it. Very brave. Yeah. Now Oof. Bishop E8 is a refutation, but I don't know if we're going to see that. con Torre 8, Torre 8, bueno, que tiene F7 allí. Excelente, hay que pensar bien lo que va a realizar. ¿no? Torre 8, Queen F7, he's not going to do that. Pero que es única, el Torre F8. No, no. Oh, E8 o no? F, F... F8, F8. Oh, ok, ok. Se me había ido ahorita la conexión, Mike. Varias veces se me fue ahí con, con el Sky. ¿no? El yeah, and then he's el... got the Rook to E8. Y B5 sigue pareciendo un poco interesante. Bishop E8, ¿no? Orkin's going to find that. Orkin will find Bishop, wow. Why doesn't Starfish see this? Bishop E8's oh, so the brilliant move. Yes, I like it. Although, like uh, Victor said, it could be Torre F.A. Ocho followed by other Torre uh, A. Ocho and almost uh, like trapping the queen. But Bishop E8 and Orkin's taking his time. Good. It's time to take your time on this one. This is a game changing no. move. Interesante, le, le puede atrapar la dama, como tú dices, ¿no? Claro, pero puede siempre cambiar ese 4 y la dama podría estar saliendo por A3 o por B4. No, no es tampoco algo así. No es que le atrapa. Oh sí, my god. Oh, Bishop G4 was played. Look at that. Ooh, what? No, that was a mistake. You shouldn't have just let him play Queen of Seven. Yeah. Why would you do that? Why would you just let the guy on your front porch in the window? The catbird yeah, murder is coming. You know what? It simplified by playing Queen of Seven and then Knight takes C4. Yeah. yeah. Why did he let him do that? Why? I don't understand this at all. Yeah, yeah. Bishop G4 is quite strange move, Murphy. Well, we know for sure Ork is not using an engine. <laughs> wow. Because of Bishop G4. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bueno, I'm F7, única. Vamos a ver. F7, caballo por C4. Yo tiene el file him. 6, que parecía intermedia, pero, pero, pero simplemente tiene el caballo de 5 en blanca y el blanco y gana, ¿no? No, no, no tiene sentido. Este. I don't even know what he's thinking about with that move. What does that do? It's not a pin. You know, maybe he could have trapped that knight on D6 a long time ago, but. He's letting him play knight take c4 too. Ah. Wow. Wow. He might play king h8. <laughs> there are two, two things. One king h8, another one to resign. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Torre F E1. Parece también una jugada ahí medio, medio, 
Pero para qué? Yeah, he's not going to do that, Victor. No parece, ¿no? Rara esa torre F1, cada vez el 4 normal. Bueno, María Chacón ahí relajada, ¿no? Con mil puntos. He's going to be a horse trader. He's going to trade caballos. What else? Yeah. Pensando, de verdad que estás pensando, ¿cuál tú crees que era Amai? ¿Tú crees que se pues, arriesgará con algo como Torre 1 o algo incierto? Es que tiene una jugada interesante como Torre 7, ¿no? Entrando allí, a ver por C4, muy lógica. E por C4. Well then, we have a connected pass pawn for Black. Ya, yeah, Black is okay. Here. Lo demás es Blunder. Maybe Orkin is an evil genius with this sequence. Now Tari Uno. After, yeah, now Tari Uno's box. Rick takes C4. There's a tactic involved here. Man, what the hell? Rick takes C4. Oof. And he did it. Well, now, now White's busted. <laughs> and now Bishop G4 makes sense. Wow. He can play Queen E6. Wow. Orkin saw this way ahead of all of us. Ataque doble ahí, no tiene forma de... Tiene que cambiar, y la pareja de alfiles parece muy, muy poderosa. Well, maybe Orkin will finally beat this guy in a match. We'll see. Will he find Queen E6? Of course he will. That's all point of last few moves, to play Queen E6 here. Wow. So, Belus, let him take the B pawn, and then he takes a poison pawn. Remarkable. Yeah, Block played a very, very solid game all throughout, uh, except Bishop G4. Other than that, quite <laughs> solid game. It's hilarious. Ese torre C4 no, no fue adecuado, man. Se le fue ahí el... La pinza un poco ahí al maestro. Oh, there it is! Bravo! Orkin Abdulov. Bueno, debe capturar, no tiene otra jugada que pueda apreciarse más o menos interesante. Y bueno, para well, que se encamina una victoria del maestro internacional Orkin okay. Abdulov. He might as well try to complicate things with Rick C7. Yeah, I like it. Because he's dead. Uh. No, At least he got rid of the protected pass one. But then I'm not sure. Poor. I'm not poor. sure. Because queen takes f7, rook takes f7. Uh, well. And e6 wins. This is just simple now. No, Black has terrific endgame. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. He's still gonna go to C7. Although, he has been Mr. Passive today. He might just go ahead and defend that pawn. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I, I picked the wrong one. He did. Yep. Well, I just shot myself in the foot, but I was out of it anyway. Maria Chacon is way ahead of everybody. Nobody can catch her anyway, unless Swams, International Master Swams, or Nenad, or maybe Jesus Diaz. Or maybe Navistar is still on the board. And Orkin just went nuts. Is that a bad move? Yeah, no, nah, he didn't go nuts. That's fine. That's fine. I thought it was a bad move because no winners, but no, Orkin's just smarter than all of us today. 
He is. That's a good move. Get the uh, get the majority rolling. Like Donald Trump said. <laughs> Maybe I'll finally put a record on the file here. The other one has been doing nothing. Three Uno. Finally. Yes, go time. Oh, H4 and no winners. It's amazing. Yes. It's amazing that he played H4, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Well, uh, B usually follows A, but here A is going to follow B. A5. Ahora sí que van a haber jugadas que no vamos a entender mucho porque en este tipo de posiciones hay mucho. Go Marky, go Asher by side. No, B4. Two thousand crowns for both those guys. Wow. Bravo. And then out to the lead. Remarkable. Yeah, I guess I, I should have been thinking about I was trying to get the pawns rolling with A5, but A5 wasn't necessary, I guess. A5's coming next though. Yeah. Well no, well it was till he hit the bishop. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, d5 looks like a good place for that bishop to just control everything. Hmm. Now he wants to play rookie one, finally, when, when, too late. Yeah, I think after bishop d5, black's position close to v. Yeah, any any Azerbaijani schoolboy could win this position. Absolutely. So poor Maria, she had such a big lead, and now she's like way behind these guys on Jeez. one move. Yeah, but they won in one move for well over 4,000 pounds. Yeah. That was spectacular. Well played by experienced contest players, Nanad and Marion. Yes, yes, very well guessed. I thought I was doing the same thing with A5. I was trying to steal too. Oh yeah, B4, that was clever. Well, before is better because it fixes the A2 pawn on the white square. Yeah. And then A5 rolls automatically. Yeah. Very, very well said. Yeah, there's not much I can do in this position except just playing rook e7, rook c7, and uh, trying to create some damage. So, if he's still thinking, maybe he likes. Some other moves, like bishop g8, but I think on d5, it's placed so much better. He might be thinking about getting cute here with b3, which is getting way too cute. Mm. But you see, a2 is a weakness. Why would you get rid of uh, this weakness? Right, I agree with you. Oh. Well. I'd complain about this time management, but time's not going to matter here anymore. Yeah, the position is simplified. It's so much better for black and all variations. Bishop g8, kind of a strange move. Uh, the only thing what I like about bishop g8 is that it keeps pawn d4 under pressure. True. Yeah, so bishop d5 is very natural move here. Victor, what do you think about this position? Well, <laughs> wait, 
sorprender con algo allí fuera de un mundo. Parece que el film de cinco es muy, muy fuerte. Está doblado peones en, en F3. El caballo no tiene una, una casilla muy Oh, oh, I'm going to hear Alfie the Sea. Indeed, was played. So, what black has, white has to play? Probably. Oh, first hint, right? What else? H5? Yeah. Brooks is 7. Brooks is 7. Swams! Oh, nice Why shot, Swams. Good, good move, Swams. Bravo, Swams. Yeah, the experience is showing today, except with me and Sasha. <laughs> Nanad, Marion, Maria, Swams. They all deserve what they've gotten today. Oh, Nava's up there, too. That's a problem. I think that um, ah. I will not be able to, <laughs> to overcome her points. I don't know. Uh, Belusa's giving everybody a chance today. Es interesante la idea, May, porque es que está haciendo torre E7. Si, por ejemplo, hace el fin por F3, tendría torre E7 este, e, e y complica un poco la posición. Así que tiene aquí que Orkan emplearse un poco. A ver qué elige. ¿Por qué puse el wrong move? En? I put so Bishop F8. ¿Qué jugaste? Yo jugué Bishop F8. Yo jugué play Rick C8. El FIF8 me gusta, man. They are very close. Eh, torre I don't really don't think they are, though. But I guess Orkin does too, because he's still thinking. Rick C8 just makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I like Rick C8. Ah. And on rook G7, you take on F3 and invade with the rook. And it's winning. Although bishop f8 is a good move too, it disallows rook e7, first of all. Reinforces b4 pawn. No, it's a very really good move. And white cannot attack pawn on f6, there is no way to do it. No, Black's position is very close to winning. Yeah. Feel, feel a fair watch. See, it's a lot of work. I got lucky. Lucky. Hmm. Now what to do? On an A2 is hanging. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bueno, parece única H5 para intentar complicar un poco, ¿no? Pues yo pienso que va a jugar un pasivo de move rook a1. No me gusta. Ok. Ahora. I mean, why did he play h4 if he wasn't going to play h5? Yeah, I like h5. Although it doesn't do much, <laughs> still. Well, oh, yeah, he's okay. going to play, if, if Orkin were to take that, he'd play bishop h4. It's the only Black chance to get anything four. going. But Orkin can just ignore that and move his king, or push past. And, and he's going to push past. I'm going to get the whole pool here. Here we go. Yes! Oh, 389. Yeah, <laughs> I got excited for a minute. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, Orkin says, uh, screw you. I'm not going to touch that. So, I okay, guess now I didn't... Okay, now and g4. Yeah, you yeah. invited it. You know, Black has a very, very easy win to clinch it uh, by bishop f3 instead of g5, and then take on h5, why not? Uf, ya de verdad no, no se ven jugadas interesantes para el blanco. Uf. 
Nenad, 4208. Marion, 4034. It's kind of close. Merlia, 2996. Swayams, 2726. Lusul, 2270. Edgar, 1748. Vasca, 1338. And the World-renowned, incredibly beautiful Nava Star, 1081. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, still Night H2. Night H2 works, has some practical chance. No, no, no. No creo que haya chance practical in esta position. De verdad que muy, muy mal la position blanca. No tiene ningún tipo de contrajuego. La pareja de alfiles está muy, muy activa. ¡Grande Abdulov! ¡Grande Abdulov! <laughs> White needs three moves. Knight H2, Knight G4, and Knight F6 in checkmate on H7. There you go. <laughs> A brilliant invention. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. We have two big winners, Dusan Milojevic and Diana M. Each won 1,083 crowns. Dusan is good at those uh, quadruple digit crown moves. How does he do that? Hmm. Well, then, can we please play Rick DC8 now, Orkin? Although he could just take the A2 pawn. Oh, that's, what he, that's where I'm going. I'm going to take the pawn now. Why not? Is there any reason not to take the A pawn? The only reason is uh, that it allows knight e4. Not, not that it's threatening much, but still. Interesante. Quiere, quiere, quiere colocar el, el caballo en e4 y obligar ahí el cambio. No está, no está tan mala idea. Really, after either one of those moves, uh, White can resign. I noticed that Abdullah, once he's reaching the winning position, he's very careful not to spoil it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, six winners. We got six winners on that one. Uh, yeah, that's surprising it didn't pay off better. Well, six people were smart. Is he going to C4 or E4? I think E4 is more natural. Yeah. Nah, muy difícil ahora. Caballo 4 no tiene torre 8. No sé, me parece que caballo 4 tendría torre 8. No, man. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> ah, no, no, es que tiene un golpe grande ahí. Sí, sí, caballo 4 es buena. No, tiene que cambiar, obligado. Que tiene caballo por F6 y tiene mate ahí en G8 en algunos temas ahí interesantes. Así que tiene que cambiar y gana el final, ¿no? No hay forma de parar el peón libre en el flanco de dama. Yeah, but after knight e4, black can take on e4 and play f5 and f4. So. Oh no, a white would have uh, an issue e5 check. Oh, we have a bunch of Serbian listeners, don't we? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, black must take on e4 for sure. Why not? Yes. Uh, warning, warning, Will Robinson, to our Serbian listeners. I had dinner with an old friend 
Nick Palavita, and I introduced him to another old friend, John Bosnich, and all of us are meeting in April in Serbia. Coach Mike is coming to Serbia. You have been warned. <laughs> that should be wow. fun. What do you think, Sasha? Have you, you've been to Serbia, right? No, I've never been there. Oh, well, maybe I'm taking a giant risk then. <laughs> <laughs> Of those countries, former Yugoslavia, I was only once in Slovenia. Oh, okay. Very nice place. Yeah, that's what everyone's told me. That's uh, where Blotz is from, right? I was in uh, Bled, where there was a uh, yeah. chest in 2002. And now I was playing there, and I visited there. That's a really nice place. Yeah, I should have gone to Bled this year, but... Maybe next year I will be going to Romania. In fact, I've been invited for the World Senior to come to Bob Merritt's house. So, how can you turn that down? Yeah. one. look terrible. And B3 is a threat, major. What yes, Nainad, I'm coming to Serbia, Nainad. So, yeah, you may be winning this contest, but I'm coming to see you. Yes, get you. <laughs> Can Nainad hold on? Yes. Okay, we have two big winners. Maria Chikon and uh, Praska each won 655 rounds. Yeah, she might be putting what some heat on Nainad. Well, B3 is obvious. Yeah, Mary and, and Maria, you guys need to hurry up. This is almost over. you got to get Nainad. Maybe Swams. Cerca del final. You know, I grew up in Wisconsin where we didn't have any Indians, but we had Johnny Quest. And Haji had the flute and the turban, and he could levitate in the magic carpet. So I thought all Indians could do that stuff. You need to bring out some magic here, Swams. Can you do that? No, I don't think any. It's going to be tough to catch Nana. Maybe Marion can do it. Maybe. If you look at this, each move 655 crowns, she may do just as, as that. We didn't have any Indians in Wisconsin. Now we have Chinese kids. I wonder Liang. We didn't even have chess tournaments in Wisconsin. Now they got Chinese kids winning everything from Wisconsin. I'm jealous. I didn't have all that stuff when I was a kid. I didn't have all these engines. These guys don't know what they have today. They just don't appreciate it. I tell Jan Lin that all the time. <sighs> Could you imagine uh -huh. if we had these tools when we were kids, Sasha? Oh, I can't even imagine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My imagination is not that great. Que piensa? Que piensa tanto duro? Esto está muy sencillo. Orkin, what are you doing, dude? Now, four minutes is kind of silly. Ah, B3, B3, B3. Vamos, Orkin. <laughs> Sí, bueno, dime. la va a terminar por hacer, no te preocupes, Mike, pero, pero no entiendo por qué piensa tanto. No, de repente está calculando alguna preocupación ahí con Torre por y Torre F7, pero ahí no hay nada. Absolutamente nada. The only way bueno, ni nada ahí cómodo. The only way to screw this up, and he's finding it. If he's not going to play B3, I don't think he will win this position. Right. There's three and a half minutes. May not be enough. Still a lot of pieces. <laughs> I just looked at a Facebook post by Miguel Herrera, who's at the uh, Atlanta Chess Center. He's saying it's nice to play chess. 
it's refreshing or something like that. Play chess in a nice place. I don't know what that means. Nice place. Yeah, it's like saying Gainesville sucks. I'm surprised Miguel said that. Oh, whatever. I've been to Atlanta for chess. And, dude, there's just, it's so far to drive everywhere in Atlanta. And there's so much traffic. Everything's so far apart. But Toronto's that way too, right? Uh, yeah, Toronto is quite large city. And um, they have some clubs here and there. But Petras! Tanto clubs. Well, thank you, Orkin. You finally found the way. Now, a blind man with a cane could win from here. Push the ape on after he takes. Yeah. First of all, he must take on b3, yeah. for sure. And then h3 probably wins yep. the four. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> the only thing is, Abdulov has to play a little bit faster from now on. Yeah. Which is not too difficult to just. Right. Not too difficult, right? <laughs> it's like this should be simple. But he's building the drama just to keep everyone watching. Now, why is taking this time? What, what, uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's looking at uh, trying to create a mate threat with the thorn pawn at h6. But it's too late. The night's gone. All that mate that you were talking about is gone now. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, my God. Yeah, look at Stockfish, H6 and King H2. Two moves that are not going to be played. <laughs> yeah. Nanot's hoping the guy just resigns because Marion is knocking on the door, only 100 crowns behind. Oh my god! Dushan! Dushan's done this three times. Three times he's had a thousand crown move today. And he's still only in fourth place. <laughs> that has to be a record as well. Holy cats. How can you have three three moves like that and you're still not even in the top three? Bravo to Dushin for setting records today. Bishop G7 ends the game. Interesting idea, interesting. Wow. But Bravo to Dushin for not even putting that in. Now, I guess yes. that's how he gets these moves because he's probably doing it every move. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Three times. Wow. Okay, so we have leaders here. Nenad Rabuli is in first place. Marianne Tatarache, followed by Maria Chikon, Dusan Milojevic, Swams Mishra, Jesus Diaz, and Bishop G7 was played. <laughs> huh? Uh, Rick takes G7. Why? Yeah, I know. I was trying to what? calculate that in my brain. So. Why is a good question. I guess follow up is Bishop E5? I don't know. It just seems totally frivolous. 
But I know Dushin is Dushin's got his crowns on Rook takes G seven. Yeah, the game is about to end very soon. Yep. There will be three for oh, four more. He found the other way to do it. This should be five. And Ludvin, Miharis. Yeah, bravo to Ludvin. Finding all these crazy desperados. Yeah. Now Orkin's got two past day pawns. Take it. And then what's the guy? Santi, Santi. This is crazy. Loco, El Loco. <laughs> Orkan has a minute and a half. It's, it's enough to win this game, but he still gets to play the moves. Yeah. And is he going to play Rook Fine. C1 or D5 now? Hmm. Nanad's got to worry about that. Ha ha! Good luck, Nanad. Marion's going to pick the right one here. No, no, no. Aquí veren. La encontró jugada interesante el el gran maestro, vale. Pero no, 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 no logra complicar lo suficiente. I think Rook C1 is more sensible, but I think he played Bishop E5 to play D5. Absolutely. After rook c1, rook wins actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, se salva, se salva, Mike. Estaba pensando que podía haber algo allí con. Con torre g6. Go bull, ya. Go bull, ya. Tudorache, tudorache. It's a horse race. Oh, and the winner is Nanad. Well, hey. bravo, Nanad. Marion did go on D5. And Nanad did. But he, he only put like 25 crowns on it. Chicken. Oh, well. Yeah. He should have been, been passed just for a, being ch a cheap with his wagering. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Which rook to B8? Oh. <laughs> I don't see much difference between rook A B eight or rook D B eight. What what's the yeah. <laughs> I, I think I'd want to keep an eye on that D pawn just, just for good measure. So Rook A B eight. I like Rook A B eight, yeah, rook And there it yeah. is. Yeah. Nana, yeah. What did Nana put five crowns twenty five crowns on top? Oh wow. All right, whatever. I wouldn't be playing that way if I was in the lead. Uh, I guess there's no reason not to take it. But it doesn't help. Well, Abdullah still has about a minute left, and it's more than enough to, to play this engine. Yeah. And then we have the question, after Bishop takes b8, will Orkin play Rook takes b8 or Bishop takes uh, f6? Yeah, that's a question. That's and a that's going to decide the contest. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Belus is just playing on to decide the contest. Well, he must take on the eight. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well, it's not Oh my god! You've got to be kidding me! Muy bien, muy bien. I've seen everything now. Wow. 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 Okay, he wanted to get out from the pin, I guess. Whatever. Maria figured that out. Bravo, Maria. 
Well, Rick B won. And well, yeah, Rick B won, and uh, White can resign, and Maria wins the contest. Wow, amazing, amazing, Maria Chacon. Yes, she, she played actually very consistently this uh, contest. Yes. Well. Yeah. Yes, it's done. She deserves to win. You're right. She was leading early. Wow. No, I don't see any moves here. Oh, yeah. There aren't any. <laughs> Yeah. Oops, seven. Uh, the other, I just promote resign turn out the lights the party's over they say that all good things must end bravo to Maria 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 why is this guy playing on Abdur has only 18 seconds left, but with delay, he has no problems to end. Yeah. And good chance to win. He has tomorrow white, and all he needs is a draw to win the match. Yeah, uh, we've been there before. Oh, Marion! Marion's trying! Good job, Marion! <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Uh, no, to go. No, I guess he took that way. Wow. Okay. Well, here comes Rick H1. Yep. Till Armageddon, no shalom, no shalom. We're not going to see an Armageddon tomorrow. Orkin's going to manage to draw. Orkin has one tomorrow. Yeah. It's exactly what happened last time these guys played, though. <laughs> well, I think he'll play King G3. Yes, it's far the best move here. <laughs> Rook H3, what a weird move. He's not going to do that. <laughs> but it also wins. Yeah, that's amazing. That's <laughs> how bad White's position is. What? He did that instead. Wow. So he lets him have the disco. Just to show how bad White's position is, Orkin's letting him disco with Rick F7 check. Oh, wow. And Maria's back. Up 600 crowns. Yeah, I know. Oh, she was yeah, up yeah. 600 crowns. Okay, so that I didn't change. I don't know. Yeah, because nobody had that except Diana and... Why did he go there? Just to screw everybody. Jose no, had that. Jose fue que ha bendito colmenares. Torres yeto, pero todo tiene sentido ya. Le van a comer y ya se acabó. I have no clue what's going on. He took that one, okay. Of course. Marion picked up 100 crowns there. He's only 500 behind now. And, oh, there we go. All right, let me call Erkin. Let's get up to love in here. Okay, let's have a short uh, game review, please. Yeah, I'm trying to find Erki. Bueno, felicitaciones al maestro internacional Abdulot. Y, bueno, el concurso ganado por María en último momento, merecedora, May, porque estuvo ahí luchando, luchando, y, y a lo último creo que merecía ganar. Trying to call her Ken Abdulov on Skype right now. Come on, Orkin. He may be so excited he forgot, and he's got to hear the tone here. Uh, let me message him on Orkin, 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 Yorkin man, Orkin man. All right. Send message. 
message. Please answer escape. Okay, let me get um, uh, Bellows, Vladimir Bellows. Yeah. Yeah, Orkin will answer eventually, but yes, that's a good idea. Please call Orkan one more time. I am. Okay. He can't hear you. I don't know what was wrong. Yeah. He knows that we're calling too, man. He knows. He should know this. <sighs> And uh, Vladimir Belus is complaining that nobody dials him. Mm. He's asking if uh, only the winner will comment. No, no. I'm, I, do I have both of them are available? I guess try Vladimir Belus one more time. Uh. Otherwise, he's leaving. Yeah, I'm trying to find his Skype. Ah. Oh. Belus, Belus, Belus. I thought he was in my contacts. Is yes, uh, Abdullah is not available? Or Orkin just answered me. He said call him again. All right, I'm going to try and call him again. Um, Orkin. Uh, have Vladimir give us his Skype, too. And then we can have both of them. Orkan is waiting. I'm calling him again. It is ringing. Oh. Hello? Hello! Bravo, congratulations. Thank you. So, Orkan... Tell us how you did it. Bishop G4 looked like a goofy move and it turned out to be brilliant. Which move? Bishop G4. Amazing turn of events. Yeah, that that night on D6. <laughs> Well, yeah, feel free to talk about... Oh, do you think he missed the fact that the pawn was hanging at B2? Yeah. No, Bishop, Bishop G4... Oh, yeah, feel free to talk about... Oh, do you think he missed the fact that the pawn was hanging at B2? B2? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Orkin. You mean? Well, tell us, tell us your thoughts about the game. Okay, maybe he has here queen c3, and he won't play b3. Well, tell us your thoughts about the game. Okay, maybe he has here queen c3, and he won't play b3. I don't know why he played queen c3. Yeah, that was bad. I don't know about. Oh, Bishop before. I have any moves here? But Bishop G4 is normal, I think strong. Yeah, I knew you'd say that.
26. Twenty six bishop takes e six. Rook c two. Yeah, now this should be easy. Orkin, may I please ask you a question? Yeah, I think Why we'll did that. you make it so exciting with the clock? Why did you use so much time in this easy position? <laughs> 20, 28 seconds left at the end. Amazing. I'm thinking. <laughs> you wanted to make sure you didn't screw up, right? Hello? Yeah, Orkin. This was pretty easy after this point on. Um, I wish you all the luck in the world to make sure you get a draw tomorrow. Yeah, Orkin. This was pretty easy after this point on. Um, I wish you all the luck in the world to make sure you get a draw tomorrow. I'm Orkin. This was pretty hey, easy after this point on. Um, yeah. I wish you all the luck. I never play football. Yeah, tomorrow you have white. You're going to be playing e4, and and uh, you're going to win this this uh, match, right? Yeah, tomorrow you have white. You're going to be playing e4, and you're going to win this match, right? I won't. I won't win yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck, my friend. Thank you very much. Spasibo. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Congrats. Okay. Thanks, everybody. And don't forget, uh, every, the clocks are one hour later tomorrow. Turn yeah, on, that's right. Up all day and right here at JustStars.com. Thank you, Marty. Bye for now. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. <clears throat> Bye. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can shut off the recording.